This is Tom Grace, an executive director of the Youth of Honor Foundation, taking some time out the AT&T Classic to interview PGA Tour professional Billy Andre. And Billy, first of all, thanks for taking time today. I know it's your Pro-Am day, and so you're getting ready to hit the course and, uh, and play your game. But I appreciate you taking time to meet with us and talk a little about what you're doing in the community, as well as share some words of inspiration to help youth that we serve bounce back in life. So, first of all, thank you. And if you would, give the team here a, a little information about what you're doing in the community and, and why you got involved. Doing that. Well, you know, I think it's real important that, uh, you know, being an athlete, and, you know, being uh, on television and, and, and where, I, where I come from is, is, you know, I've been lucky in life. I've had a great upbringing, I've had great parents that took care of me, and uh, I just feel it's a, it's a role that um, if you can make a difference, you should. You should try to uh, help those that are less fortunate or help those that are in need or help those that are at risk. And, and you know what? When you uh, go to a boys and girls club, or you see see kids that um, you know that are struggling or need some help, I think as a as an athlete or as a celebrity or as an entertainer, you should be able, you should do that, or for somebody that can. Uh, so I started back in the early '90s, a foundation up in Rhode Island for at-risk youth, and uh, I think it's real important to to get uh, to have hope. I think it's uh, it's real important to um, have a goal and set goals. And I think it's important that uh, if you can try and make a difference, that you should. And um, you know, the, the, our future is 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 our youth. And um, you know, if it's if you think your future is a dead end street and that you have no hope, uh, I think it's important for people like myself to to try to help those those types of. Of those type of kids to, to uh, that there is hope to, to give them hope to understand there is a future and uh, it's real important that uh, that we show them that uh, if you do X Y and Z if you, if you go down this road versus this road the wrong road that you can succeed that you can uh, achieve and uh, I just think it's uh, it should be a mantra for all adults that uh, you know the, the future of our of our country the future of of, of the world is our, is, is our youth and. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of kids that have had tough upbringings and have tough goes, but, um, you know, if you have role models and you have great role models in life, then you're going to do just fine. I think it's important to have those kind of role models, and I think it's real important, and I, it's something that I've, uh, I've done my whole life. i got my own children that I'm raising, but, uh, you know, my kids are, you know, we're on them, and it's hard, and you've got to be able to, to be there for them, and it's the same with kids that need help. That's great, and I know you guys are doing a great job having golf tournaments, you and Brad Baxter, partnering uh, to do what you're doing. So best of luck to what you do uh, to help the youth you're looking at. And in, in your discussion, you talked about goals. I know you had goals growing up to, to be a, and get your card and be on the tour, and you're living those goals, but it wasn't easy to do that. Can you talk a little bit about how you've overcome obstacles and persevered to, to get where you're at today to help youth understand they can do it? Well, you, uh, I think you have to have, uh, you know, you have to dream big and you have to, you know, look at the future and say, you know, I'm here at this point. I want to get to a uh, to the PGA Tour. How am I? How am I going to get there? And you get that by working hard, by having uh, discipline, being determined, uh, and. and being positive and, and not being, you know, negative. I think it's a, it's a combination of things that you have to work on to try to be successful. I think all successful people uh, are very focused in, in, in what they're trying to accomplish. That they, they have a, a plan, and I think it's very important to have that plan. And if you really work really hard at your craft, if you figure out that you have a passion for something, I think passion is a huge word. That, that you, it takes a while to figure out what your passion is going to be. You know, it might be being a caddy, it might be, you know, being a writer, it might be, you know, working for a foundation, it might be anything. And I think uh, if you find your passion and you go with it, and, um, uh, you know, then you, then you try to uh, craft it and you, and you work really hard at it. And for me, it was, you know, I figured out at a young age that I really want to be a be a golfer. I was really good at it. So I worked really hard at it and uh, I was determined to, to get out here on the tour and uh, it took me a long time through college and all that but uh, I've been very, very fortunate. I've been very lucky uh, that I'm living the dream of what I really wanted to do when I was a kid.
Let me ask this one other question. You mentioned a couple of pillars in your life. One is a good, strong family support structure. And two, as you just mentioned, now is passion. Let's add in a little bit is education. I know you graduate Wake Forest University. Right. What has education done to help you get to where you're doing? Well, you have to, um, you know, you have to put your time in to, to learn. I think your brain has to, you know, focus on um, education because if I did make it, you know, what was I going to do? What was I going to fall back on? And I think uh, having a great education and going to a great university or going to a good college, a good high school first. Mm -hmm and uh, setting a foundation for your education and you learn is, is not just great for your brain but if you hey say your passion was uh, you know I want to be a pro baseball player and you don't make it what do you have to fall back on you have to have a second plan you have to have a backup plan and it's real important to uh, get your school work in uh, to go to school to uh, to listen to, uh, to you know be able to 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 have to have all the things you know integrity you have to listen to adults you have to you know you, you, you have to be disciplined you can't do whatever you want to do you have to do with the, what your school or whatever right. was telling you to do I think that's real important I think that's something that sometimes gets missed is the discipline side that it's not you know that I can do whatever the heck I want to do I got to do what's, uh, what's the right thing to do. there are laws in this country that if you don't if you don't do the right things, you, you, you're not going to be around. You're going to go to jail, and that's not what we want to do. And that's something that you learn through education. And I think that's real important. Well, good. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time because I know you got to just you know, practice your discipline. That is to get ready to go hit some balls today with the, some of the uh, pro-am players that are spending their time out here. Is there any last comments you want to share with, with kids that are to trying to bounce back? In well, line? I think there is hope. I think that, um, you know, that I know maybe right now that uh, you're sitting there going, I have no future. But there is a future. And it's going to be something you need. It's going to be somebody that uh, triggers something in your brain that says, you know what, I can do versus I can't. And uh, I just think that uh, if you stay positive, meet people, uh, try to hang around people that are, that are good versus people that are not good, it's very important. And uh, just strive to be the best you can be and, and, and work at it and, and do all the things that we're talking about. And just remember that there are people in this world that care for you and that care and that want to see you succeed. And that's what life's all about, and that's what uh, that's what we're all trying to accomplish. Uh, thank you so much for in, in, uh, you know, interviewing me, and, and uh, I, I commend you and your foundation for everything that you guys well, are doing. You. I think it's uh, it's fabulous that you have people that do care, and, uh, and I uh, hope all the best for everything. Okay. As we say, uh, you get your jump on life, and I'm going to let you go on now and get in the golf cart and go get your jump on life and enjoy a great week here at the uh, AT&T Classic, and best of luck to you, Thanks. your foundation, and the rest of the year. So take care. Thank you.